Welcome to our group garage. In this video showing where the 2, 3, and 4s orbital electrons will likely be found, called the radial probability. Recall from our last video that Niels Bohr had described the electron as a particle in a quantized energy or fixed orbit around the atom. While Louis de Broglie was awarded the Nobel Prize for discovering the wave nature of the electron. As a wave, when we look to see or measure where the electron is, we collapse this wave function and observe an electron somewhere inside the region where the wave was. When we kept measuring the 1s electron, we rarely found the electron near the center of the atom and noticed it usually one Bohr radius away, the quantized energy. Here is a slice through the xy plane of the sample data and where we saw the radial distribution or radial probability. To get here, we started with the wave function, a solution to the Schrodinger equation. And since Max Born had postulated that the electron density would be proportional to the size of this wave function squared, that's what we did. This squared wave function gives us the electron density, which for 1s is higher near the center and decreases as we move out along the radius. Although the density is higher at the center, to get the probability of where we'll measure the electron, we have to take into account the size of the region or the volume of the space we're looking in. And at the center of the atom, the volume is quite small. Because the volume grows as we move out along the axis, we notice an increasing likelihood of actually seeing an electron. And for the 1s orbital, we saw a peak at 1 Bohr radius. Let's do the same for the second principal energy level, the 2s orbital. We start with the radial part of the wave function, without discussion of wave phase, the negative part. As suggested by Max Born, we square the function, and here is the density probability. A thin slice through the xy plane would look something like this. From this, to find where we'll see the electrons, the radial probability, let's again consider the volume of each small region as we move out along the radius and multiplying the wave function by that increasing volume for a 2s electron around the hydrogen proton. The very small center means a very small chance of seeing the electron there, and as we move out, there is a peak just under 1 Bohr radius. Then the radial wave function also decreases to zero, so there is an empty region. Moving farther out, it starts to increase and we see another peak around 7, and then it just decreases out as far as we look. There is a small spherically shaped region in the center, but let's talk about the empty region. This is different than not seeing the electron at the center of the atom because the volume we're looking at was negligible. This is zero because the radial wave function is zero. This is called a node. For 1s, there is a probability of finding the electron in the center of the atom or anywhere along the radius, so there is no node. For 2s, we have a similar probability at the center, however, there is zero probability of finding an electron in this empty region near the 2 Bohr radii, and thus there is one node in the 2s subshell. Remember, this distribution is spherically symmetrical, so the radial probability of finding an electron at any given radius is like a ball, the 2s orbital. Here is the wave function for the 3s orbital. Using the square of this function, we see the electron density. Remember, the density is proportional to the wave function squared. And notice now that there are two spots where the function equals zero. We will see two nodes, or regions where the probability of finding the electron is zero. We multiply the squared wave function by the volume of the region and we see the radial probability. We see three regions where the electrons will most likely be found, and two nodes. This is the 3s radial probability. Remember 1s has no node, 2s has one node, 3s has two nodes. You should be able to guess now how the 4s radial probability looks and how many nodes there will be. Here is the 4s wave function, with three spots where the function is zero. Squaring the wave function will give us four peaks, and then multiplying by the volume we see the radial probability for the 4s electron will have the four regions and, that's right, three nodes. We'll leave here with the wave function for 5s. Go ahead and draw it out. A ball in a ball in a ball within a ball in another ball. Hit the thumbs up if you found this video helpful, and for more, consider becoming a subscriber. 
If you'd like to support more projects on our group garage, I'd appreciate it if you use the link in the description to buy me a coffee. Thanks.